Yeah, welcome to the Blabber Box. Did you hear about this? The queen of IRS tax fraud. If you haven't heard about it, it's probably time you have. Her name is Rashia Wilson of Tampa, Florida. This woman was ripping people off right and left with identity theft. And she was using their social security numbers and whatnot to file fictitious tax returns, making millions of dollars while doing it. Uh, of course, she had some accomplices as well. She was a third grade uh, dropout, <clears throat> or just didn't pass the third grade. Uh, but you know what? Mm, some people don't need schooling to be able to do a lot of fooling. This woman had enough money to throw a $30,000 birthday party for her one-year-old. She bought herself a $90,000 2013 Audi, but check it out. She paid for it. What a money order. <laughs> she was all on Facebook, man. She thought Facebook was private. Okay, folks, I've always told you stupid criminals out there, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, YouTube, Black Planet, none of those sites are private. Facebook, okay, is Facebook Incorporated, FBI. That's the new FBI. The FBI's work is cut out for them. It's easy because people like you are making it easy. Okay, she was all flossing out in the club, uh, throwing money up in the air with the blonde hair and the glasses and the bling bling and all that. Uh -huh, tossing up money stacks. She even got pictures of her EBT card. EBT card. <laughs> Electronic Benefits Transfer Card. So wait a minute, she was making millions of dollars ripping folks off, yet at the same time she was applying for food stamps and Medi-Cal. Got pictures of her Medi-Cal card there right along with big money stacks uh -huh, in a shoebox. Didn't even have sense enough to buy is safe. And here's pictures of her big old house and her cars, which uh, instantly got repossessed. Also, look at this car. <laughs> I like the Sprite in you. Repossess that too. Yeah, all that there. This is what she put on Facebook. Check this out. I'm Rashia Wilson, the queen of IRS tax fraud. I'm a millionaire for the record, so if you think indicting me will be easy, it won't. I promise you. You need more than black and white to hold me down and that's to the rat who went and told as if <laughs> As if first lady don't have the TPD under her spell. That's the Tampa Police Department. Uh, I run Tampa right now. Now look at the way she wrote it. I'm going to put this. Look at that. This is how she wrote it. Look at the third grade education shows right there. I think she did make it to the fifth grade at least. But yeah, all this uh, synapses and stuff. Here's another post she put up on Facebook. I'm Rashia, the queen of IRS tax fund. I'm a millionaire for the record. This is how she prefaced all her statements, right? So if you think that indict me will be easy, it won't. I promise you. I won't do no time, dumb bitches. Yeah. She got 21 years. Yeah. Oh, she got indicted. She did some time. She doing some time. She got sentenced to 21 years. They allegedly think that she stole at least $21 million. So what they're giving her, a million dollars per year? Mm, that's about what it costs to house a, a criminal anyway. Listen, listen. In court when she got sentenced, didn't even get to hug her two little old children. Oh, should she have? Investigators worked for two years to gather evidence against Rashia Wilson and a host of other fraudsters as part of Operation Rainmaker. They dubbed it so because of the amount of money that was raining down. Included in that group was Wilson's boyfriend, Maurice Thirst Larry, and, uh, and a friend. Uh, Bar Terrence Quat Holloway. Now, Larry will be sentenced in two separate cases in August and September. Holloway has signed a plea agreement and expected to plead guilty. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Their friend, Martens Quat Holloway, signed a plea agreement. Woo! Sound like he gonna be over there in, in, in uh, witness protection, huh? Yeah. Wearing that new, new line of clothing. You heard of it? It's called Abercrombie and Snitch. <laughs> but yeah, she snitched on herself. People do that all the time. Put their cell phone blast and they're like, somebody snitched on me. You snitched on yourself. And she done went from good to bad to ugly. Look at the mug shots, how they just get worse and worse and worse. Look like she done met up with the salad tossing woman. Hmm. Too bad. The old the blonde hair gone and the scars have come. What a shame. For shame. But of course, all those people that got ripped off, I know they feel happy about that. Somebody got busted. Wait in the comments below. Let us know what you think about this and be sure to subscribe. Be sure and visit us over at StevieMac.com. Check out all the stuff we have over there for you. Uh, we got uh, our short film is out now. Yeah, short film is off the chain titled Apartment X. You want to check that out. As well as Stevie Mac Radio. Mm -hmm. That's on Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. That there is the call time. Be there or be square. Blabber box. Blabber. Blah.